Hey everyone, it's Gil from Subscriber. I cannot wait to show you Subscriber version two. I've been working on it for months. It has been pretty much my sole focus and basically the only thing that I focus on every single day. Uh, before we do that, I wanna just talk briefly about what my goals are for building this platform. And that's ultimately to create a more repeatable process with script writing. And of course, incorporating all the best practices of YouTube. So Subscriber version two, is really focused on a few specific areas. First of all, higher quality writing. That means less uh, repeating of content, more in-depth, more detail, more storytelling. That's what I mean by higher quality. And the second thing is more control. So having smart defaults for the platform, but as you develop skill with using it as a tool, and as you have more ideas about how to make your content even better, giving you the power to do that. And then the last thing is what I call lifestyle improvements. These are just things to make your life easier using the tool. Uh, it could be small buttons or, or just tiny little improvements that day by day just make it more fun and pleasant to use. So there's actually 17 major things that were a part of this release. You can see them here in this really small font. Uh, it took me months to build all this, but I'm going to show you right now all these major features. So let's dive in. So first thing is the dashboard view. Uh, you'll see that there's now a create script button at the top right here. So if you click on this and if you have multiple channels, you can select which channel you want to create a script for. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, this one channel. I've added Marcus Brownlee's channel and I wanna click on voice here. So I'm gonna go to voice. And the channel voice feature has basically been totally upgraded. It looks a lot different from before, but what you'll see is you have this preview option, which gives you the ability to see what this voice would sound like when it's writing. And then if you click edit voice here, you'll see that there is a ton of different settings here. Previously, all you could really do is just input some custom instructions here. So you might say write at a sixth grade reading level. And that was really pretty much it. But behind the scenes, Subscriber actually had all of this other stuff as part of the voice that's generated based on your writing samples. So uh, I really consider this part of the secret sauce of sub Subscriber and was hesitant to open this up for everyone to be able to use. But ultimately I think that it's just so powerful that giving you more control just makes sense. So basically what you can do here is see all of the different features or characteristics of the channel voice and you can tweak them to your needs. Now there's one thing I wanna show you here, which is the narrative techniques. You'll see here that in this voice, after analyzing the writing style, it's found personal anecdotes, uh, direct address to the viewer, technical explanations and comparisons to other products. Now, if you've seen MKBHD's content, you know that this is pretty much spot on. Let me go back to the dashboard and I'll just click on create script and I'll do Marcus Brownlee. Now I'm wearing this Aura ring, which is like a, a smart tracking ring. I just happen to know that there's a new one that just came out. So I, I'll type in my video topic here, a review of the new Aura smart ring four compared to previous models and other wearables on the market. Okay, now I'm typing in a very simple topic here. I would encourage you to think a little bit more about how to make this topic even uh, more detailed and complex. The, the more that you do with this, the better the result is going to be. You'll notice that this page is really streamlined from what it used to be. I'm gonna go ahead and choose review here since I wanna do a review video. Now, we're not entering the angle anymore. We're not entering the audience goals. We'll tackle that in the framing section. So this gives you more of a focus on just entering in a very detailed topic, as detailed as you can make it. Now, if you already have a title for your video, if you're pretty sure about that, you can just go ahead and put that in here. This will bypass the title suggestions and get right to it. If you don't have a title, don't worry about it. We'll give you some great suggestions to start with. I'm gonna make this a, let's say a 10 minute video. That sounds pretty good to me. And you'll see these other settings here have muted a little bit. That's because you really shouldn't have to touch these too much. They're there if you need it, again, to give you more control. But let's go ahead and create this script. For now, let's move right on to research. Okay, for adding research, what I wanna do is search for Aura Ring 4 and 
I'm going to go ahead and just find some reviews. So here's there are blog posts about it. Here's a Wired article. Here is a CNET article, Tom's Guide. OK, great. So that's some research here. Now, you'll notice that we didn't have to pick the research on the first step. That's because you might really want to think about this, how much research to add. You can now do it from this page. I've decided, hey, I want to add a bit more research because I saw some good stuff there. I'm going to, I'm going to change this up and add more research. You can see it's clearly labeled how much is left. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that search again. There's a couple other articles that I wanted to add here. And awesome. So I've got a lot more detail in the research section for the script. Now let's move on to framing. Awesome. So we've got some great frames for the script. Just to let you know, I am skipping past the loading of each page just to make this video a bit faster for you. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at these frames. A transform sweep from guesswork to science. I'm not crazy about that one. Aura Ring 4 versus traditional wearables. Now let me show you another cool feature here. If I like this angle and I want to see more like this, I'll just click the show more like this button. And what that's going to do is actually open up a new section at the bottom where it's generating more frames that are similar to this one. So I can look at these and compare and hopefully find one that's the perfect fit for me. Okay, so we've got more frames here to look at. And I, I love this Aura Ring 4 versus Apple Watch. So let's just go with that. Okay, and we'll move on to the next step. You'll see that uh, this navigation has been improved a little bit up here so you can quickly see what the next step of the process is. So we've got some great title suggestions here. And let's see, why Aura Ring 4 may replace your watch. I like that. Let's go ahead again and say show more like this and see what other suggestions we've got. And your smartwatch is now obsolete. Well, that is pretty cool. So let's run with this title. I like it. I like it. Okay. We'll go to thumbnail next. Now the thumbnail is really an optional step. You don't have to choose a thumbnail here. Of course, if you're using a uh, graphic designer, this just gives you an opportunity to think about some of the concepts that you might want to use when creating a thumbnail. I'll go ahead and click this one here. And now let's go to the hook. As you can see, these hooks are a little bit more detailed and longer than they were before, but I think you'll actually find that the hooks are even better than they were before. So let's take a look at some of these and see which one might work best. I, I like this one. It looks like it's a question. What's the one thing you hate most about your smartwatch? Uh, I like this. Let's go with this one here. And I'll click use hook. There is one other thing I want to show you on this page, which is if you scroll to the bottom, of any of these pages where you're picking titles, thumbnails, and hooks, you'll notice there's now a reply button. So basically you can offer feedback to the suggestions and then just click generate and it will give you new suggestions based on your feedback. So this is a little bit more like ChatGPT, but of course with all the amazing built-in prompts that know about the context of your video and your audience and will give you spot on suggestions based on that feedback. Okay. So let's go to the next step. And now this is a new step called payoffs. Payoffs, if you were uh, using the original version of subscriber, we had a step like this previously. It was taken away, but by popular demand, it's been brought back. Now payoffs are really the key information that the audience will learn in your video. By choosing the payoffs here, you're basically helping to frame the video a bit more so that subscriber really knows, is this what we need to write about? It's gonna make sure and cover the right things. So it's actually going to recommend about how many payoffs you should choose. So I'll go ahead and just check a couple here. Awesome. So I've picked uh, four payoffs and now I'm gonna to go to the draft step. Now previously with subscriber, the draft step would actually just start creating the, the outline for the video straight away. Now it's a little bit different. What we're doing here is able to make sure that we've got everything done, that we've picked a frame, that we've picked a title, that we've picked a hook and it will let you know if any of those things are not done. It's important to include all of those things when you're creating your video because each step actually builds on the previous steps. So by completing these things in order, you're going to get a more refined and better script. But wait, there's one more thing I wanna show you here, which is this 
question, is your research complete? And it says, click the button below to get feedback on the research you've provided. So this is brand new. I can go ahead and click this and I'm going to get feedback on the research I've uploaded, what's good about it, what I might want to improve on to get a better script. Now it's doing this because it knows what payoffs I want to hit, what the hook, what the title is, what the promise of the video is. So it's able to really give you a, a great analysis on this research. And it's saying what is well presented in the video or in the, rather in the research, as well as what is potentially missing. So from here, I could go back to the research step and add some of these things if I wanted to create a more in-depth video that really has robust research about the topic. Now, you don't have to add research in all these areas. There is a new feature that's available to all subscriber users. Previously, this was only on the automation plan and it was originally called auto draft, but you'll see it here. There are two options. You can either just generate the outline for the script or you can generate the outline and the draft of the entire script at the same time. Now choose this option on the left if you want to look at the outline and just consider it before starting to write any content. Choose the one on the right if you're like, I'm pretty sure that this is right for me. I trust subscriber. I want to just go ahead and create the drafts for every section of my script all at once. So I'm going to just click this option on the right here, generate outline and draft. And you'll see it'll go through this loading process. It's going to take a couple minutes to generate the outline. And then after that, it will start uh, drafting the entire script and I'll be able to see the progress of that as well. So we'll check back in in a minute as soon as it's completed. All right, this is amazing. So our outline has been generated. Our full draft of the script has been generated. Now we're able to see this new toolbar at the top where you can quickly switch from the plan section, which will show you all of the outlines to the research section, which will show you all of the generated research reports for the script and the right section, which of course is going to show you all of the drafts. So you can easily click this to toggle each section here. Um, you've got this action bar where if you hadn't generated the full draft for the entire outline, you could do that here. But of course we already generated this, so that's not necessary. If I needed to refresh the outline and kind of start over, because I didn't like the way it was structured, you have the ability to, to do that as well. And you've got a couple other features here. Um, you can see six out of six sections have been drafted. So essentially we have the first draft of our script ready to go. Now there's something else I wanna show you here. This is brand new as well. You can just click this little arrow link here and it's going to make the main column a bit wider. And so this is going to be great for uh, seeing more of the script on your screen at a time making it a little bit easier to read and edit. Um, speaking of editing, what I wanna do next is go to this new edit step. Let me just go ahead and expand this so we can see. And it says your draft is done. Now let's make it better by reviewing and editing it. So let's go ahead and click get feedback. And what subscribers are going to do is analyze the first draft of the script, give some feedback on how to improve it, and then actually offer up a rewrite of the entire script based on that feedback. Now, the cool part about this is, is that you can see the feedback that it's giving on each section of the script. And while you're looking over that, you can see it's actually rewriting it as well. Okay, so awesome. You can see here that the original word count was 2,200 words. The rewritten word count is 1,637 words, which is amazing because I believe we were targeting a 1600 word script. So subscribers pretty much spot on. So let's go down and look at this and I can see the suggestions that subscriber gave. I can also see in red, this was the original first draft and then in green, this is the rewritten version. And I have the option to either decline or accept these particular edits. So I can do this section by section if I want to or if I'm like, hey, subscriber, I trust you, let's go ahead and run with it. Just click apply all edits. And it says your edits have been applied. And now we have our new 1637 word script. So if I click review here, I can see it's pretty much spot on. And all I have to do now is just uh, copy or download the script and move on with the production process. So that's pretty much it for the upgrades in 
subscriber version two. I didn't really show you how the writing quality uh, is improved, but as you go through the process, you should be able to see that for yourself. Hopefully you'll have also noticed some of the quality of life improvements, like the, the navigation toggle here, and just some of the general usability updates, as well as having more control, such as being able to provide feedback on the titles and thumbnails. So this has been a huge upgrade, many months in the making. Check it out and let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you.